it's still Poet the Poet. Um, we're switching over to music, though. We have uh, Frank Ferrar, and uh, his guitar, as I say, is an uncannily talented uh, instrumentalist. Mm, thank you. Uh, don't expect any singing. Uh, let's sing. Um, unfortunately, uh, a lot of his a uh, lot of his bio is not in English, so uh, <laughs> I'll do the best uh, that I can. What is this? Uh, Brasilia artist Bebel. Well, um, uh, Gilberto. It's Bebel Gilberto. Ah. Um, yeah. this, some of the people I've been working with recently are oh, uh, Bebel oh, Gilberto see. and Vinicius Cantelaria. Uh huh. Um, it sounds like something out of I Claudius. <laughs> <laughs> um, what do they do? <laughs> um, they sing. And and uh, Vinicius is a world class percussion player and ah. guitarist and songwriter. Let's see, and you've also worked with Dan Marshall and the Dirt Roots Band. Yeah, that's more of an electric, uh, mm -hmm. electric guitar. Yeah. Oh, my roots have been dirty for years. <laughs> I really, I really ought to get them cleaned sometime. It's uh, that sort of thing. You've done a little uh, theatrical composing. Yeah, that's uh, very interesting. So. Um, all right. Uh, while we're uh, thinking about all that, how about a little sample of uh, what you can do with those six strings? Okay. You could do that if you practice. <laughs> 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 
possibly do Actually, that. Actually, neither could I. I think if, <laughs> if we worked together on the same guitar, we couldn't uh, right. get anywhere near that. That, so. that was marvelous. Um, one of your own, I believe. Yes. Um, tell us about it. Um, well, it's uh, called Nocturne. Oh, yes. Oh, sorry. I almost forgot. That's it's, a <laughs> um, it's a song about loneliness and yearning. Mm -hmm. um, and I guess it's a, I guess I was feeling that way, and it's a way to respond to it, to mm -hmm. be able to write something. And, now, most of us poets, when we, uh, when we start a poem, we have a phrase or a word or an idea or something like that. But since music is such a completely different language and alphabet, um, where do you start? Um, different places. I mean, this one started more from a feeling. Um, so, so some of them um, start more from the fingers. There's a, yeah. a pattern or something that falls under your fingers. and. Mm -hmm. It gives you an idea, and you complete it from there. Mm -hmm. um, the next piece I have was written for the theater. Mm -hmm. um, there's actually um, bits of uh, different vignettes, and I strung them together into a piece. So there I was thinking differently, um, more about um, matching the, the action mm -hmm. of the, of the uh, theater. All right. If, uh, if I, if I, before we get into the piece, if, mm -hmm. I, if I were to sandbag you, and ask you for uh, for a phrase that would uh, that would represent an emotion. Mm -hmm. um, what would you do if uh, if I said if I said play something happy? Play something happy. What would you have there? <laughs> uh, what what sort of chords would you use? Where would you? Well, <laughs> obviously major or. That's kind of. Ah, uh, and uh, something moody would be then minor chords. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's kind of a, a lot of close voicings. And if I asked you to play something sarcastic? Sarcastic. That's a hard one. <laughs> That's a hard one. Mm. Well, I'll get Spike Jones in. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, what about this theatrical piece you were tempting us with? Well, this is um, yeah. this was written for um, uh, a piece about uh, Don Quixote. And um, it kind of uh, gets into some of the different uh, situations he gets into, I guess, and, and feelings he goes through. Okay, down Paris. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
close enough. Uh, a periscope. <laughs> um, let's say, for example, that I was going to mount a theatrical production based on the works of Michael Graves here. Now, you've heard some of his poetry. Um, well, and I came to you for the music. After all, it worked for cats. <laughs> so that's what, 10 years now? Um, it did. Yeah. How would you approach something like that? Um, I guess probably um, I would read through it. Mm -hmm. um, if it, if it, if it um, were to be staged, yeah. I would probably also watch a lot of the action. A lot, a lot of the stuff is also in theater visual mm -hmm. as well as um, right. just the text. Mm -hmm. um, and I guess the other thing that, that we did when we did these other theater pieces was try to get a, a general overall um, sense of what we were looking for. I guess we get a lot of minor chords with Michael. <laughs> well, maybe not. See, that, that's where you can maybe get your sarcasm if, mm. if he were to recite in a very know. dark manner and I were to play happier music. No, um, Michael's always been very straightforward as far as I've known him. Um, that being the case, I'm going to take an early opportunity to thank both Frank Ferrara and Michael Graves for coming on Poet to Poet, because right now what I'd like to do is devote the rest of the show to your playing. Oh. So uh, play till we fade okay. and beyond. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> 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 yes.